It's the radio segment that just won the lottery and blew all its money on a solid gold motorhome. Oh, oh man! Laser stories. <laughs> the segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser. And those other cheese nuggets just don't. Ooh, this, what? That's a swear word. This first laser story is out of Kent, England. A 33-year-old man named Dory Finkelsbaum is being called... <laughs> That is his last name. Yep, Dory. Called a lot of names. Dory Finkelsbaum. Oh my God! If he survived childhood, good on him. He's being called the dumbest drunk of all time. Oh, come on! I thought that was me. What? I say that because last weekend he went out drinking with some friends at a local pub, and after one too many whiskeys, his buddies convinced him to jump off a bridge into the local river. Okay. Dude. Yeah. Okay, we all have had a friend like I this. Know, we have a buddy who will do anything once he gets just, wasted. Don't you have one friend that like talks sense into everybody? You have to have the one logical We're all friend drunk, with you. Bro. The logical guy is uh. like calling the Uber. But the only problem was Dory couldn't swim. No! <laughs> so your whole e- England that's not that bad thing doesn't really add up now, does it, Jeffrey? Well, shortly after 9 p.m., his friends called 911, and the Kent Search oh, and Rescue no. responded oh, to no. fish him out of the river. Stop Hooray! it. Oh, my gosh. So, Thank God he's okay. He was shaken up but was totally fine, so the rescue team told him to go home. But did Dory listen? No, no Dory. he did not. In fact, an hour later, he jumped back in. No! <laughs> Bro, double or nothing. Stop it. You won't. You Doesn't won't. an incident like that sober you up pretty quickly? <laughs> this time, no one even had to talk him into it. Ah. He oh. did it because he told his buddies that the last time turned out to be kind of fun. Oh. 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 I kind of want to be his friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun to just drown just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sure. <laughs> but a few seconds later, in the river, he was heard shouting, Help me, I can't swim. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those one time shame on you, two times yeah. Yeah. shame on me. So Kent, search and rescue, reported to the scene again. Yeah. Gee, his hospital bill is going to be expensive. Oh my God. He's lucky that they even fished him out. Yeah. They fished him out of the water again. And once the rescue boats herded him back to the riverbank, Dory ran away. Oh. What? Dude, this guy's wily. Like, he's like, he's like a grease pig. You can't get a hold he's of like him. He's like the worst drunk what person time is it by now? ever. A search and rescue spokesperson said, We can't believe the sheer stupidity of this individual. (laughs) This next laser story is out of Jefferson County, Pennsylvania. 36-year-old Andrea Roten and her 30-year-old boyfriend Jeremy Appleton are in the news for all the wrong reasons. Mm. Apparently, the two had heard about a local family going on vacation. So their plan was to wait for them to go to the airport and then break into their place and rob them. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for that. I mean, I will say at least nobody would be home, so you yeah. don't hurt yes. anyone, I guess. But what they didn't plan for was the couple's flight being delayed. <laughs> so when Andrea and Jeremy broke into the house, they were shocked when they walked into the living room and standing there in front of them was the woman who lived there. Oh, oh my God! God. Surprise. You would think the lights on and maybe a car in the driveway would be good indication that they're still home. But every good burglar knows you have to be prepared for surprises like this. Ah. That's why, in an act of pure genius, or possible stupidity, Uh-oh. Andrea took off her bra and then used it to strap the homeowner into a chair. Oh. How big is her bra? I don't know, but I like her. <laughs> the two then rummaged through the kitchen and stole an unknown amount of prescription drugs and okay. then left. Yikes. Yeah, drugs involved. Interesting. Weird. Me- meanwhile, the homeowner easily <laughs> escaped her dirty bra trap. <laughs> So gross. And she was able to call the cops. Oh man. oh, man. What does she look like? I don't know, but she's got a set of E's on her. Yeah. <laughs> and she's not wearing a bra, so uh-huh. they're sagging down to her yeah. legs at this point. <laughs> Police found the couple a few miles down the road with the stolen property, and they arrested both of them on multiple charges. Yeah. Good. This next laser story is out of Orlando, Florida. The cops got a call last week about a 40-year-old guy named... Gianfranco Fernandez. Dude, awesome names oh, and real. stories. And he was in the road blocking traffic. Uh-oh. And maybe the reason why so many people called was because Gianfranco was obstructing commuters by doing cartwheels. <laughs> what? I mean, it's the happiest roadblock ever. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> when the cops came, they tried to arrest him. 
but he managed to slip out of their hands, and then he tried to cartwheel away from them. <laughs> oh. what? what is this, like Simone Biles? <laughs> just this guy's just backflipping. And, and you know what? Summer Olympics postponed. He had to make do with what he had. Unfortunately for him, cartwheels aren't actually a great escape move, it turns out. <laughs> And cops easily were able to detain him again, <laughs> and they arrested him. Go! Oh, man, next time you should try handsprings. Yeah. 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 Afterwards, one reporter who covered the story quipped, cartwheels are not the ninja move this guy thinks they are. Yeah, <laughs> at least somersault, right? Yeah. <laughs> this next laser story is out of the world of worry. Ooh, I live in this world. A new survey asked people which comfort foods they've leaned on the most to deal with their stress with what's been happening in the world right now. Are we counting wine as food? (laughs) I guess if you freeze it and bite into it. I've been eating a ton of soul food lately. It's so good and comfortable. So they came back with all the responses and the top answers are really not that surprising. Number five, 51% of the public say they turn to mac and cheese during crisis time. Oh my God. Put some hot dogs in that and I'm Mm, like heaven it's so versatile oh. number four pizza yeah. duh yeah 56 percent of people chose that number three 58 percent say they stress eat with chocolate or candy mm-hmm. i've been really good but the ice cream i can't stop what if i'm stress yeah. eating with all of those <laughs> <laughs> a mac and cheese pizza <laughs> topped with Hershey's Caramel kisses. Drizzle. Yeah. <laughs> number two on the list is ice cream with fifty nine percent. Oh, give it to me. And the number one stress eating food for people in our country is potato chips. Oh, Get in oh, my belly. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the only one I'm not into. You were well, eating yeah, Fritos right? just the other day. Those are what? not potato chips. What? Okay, they're made out of corn. Fritos are not potato chips. They come no, in potato bag. chips are like potatoes. They're made out of potatoes. But you're also eating All right. an Fritos is, snack. Yeah, but it's not the same. Text, Text into 78592 are Fritos potato chips. <laughs> that, that is the dumbest statement. Of course they're not. Okay. <laughs> According to the numbers, 62% of us have had chips in the last few months. Also, three out of four people said that they're eating more comfort foods now than they ever have before. Mm. And over a third of us are eating them at least once a day. Dude, I'm I will sorry, say, but treat yourself. This is it. on par with my pregnancies. I'm just <laughs> saying. You know what? If it's I crave true. it, I'm eating it. I don't yeah. care anymore. <laughs> I mean, dealing with stress with comfort food is one thing, but what about comfort humps? Humphrey. Yeah. <laughs> That's how this guy deals with the stress. It's a turtle oh. humping the shoe. Much healthier. <laughs> a little bit. It means Laser Stories has come to an end for the day. We'll do it again same time on Wednesday.